just over 3% of herds in Ireland will go down with TB in any given year. This is a difficult time for farmers and many are unfamiliar with what will happen next. This video will explain to you what actions the Department of Agriculture will take to help you clear your herd from TB and to rid your farm of TB. Most herds that go down with TB will go down at the annual herd test or as part of a contiguous testing program. So what happens at that test if TB is found? Firstly, the vet inserts a reactor tag into the ears of all the reactor cattle. Any animals that are inconclusive now become reactors. Unless necessary on veterinary advice, it is important not to medicate any of the animals after a test with reactors has been read. If it is absolutely necessary, make sure to inform your department vet or technical officer. There is a chance that further blood testing will be needed in the following week or two. And finally, isolate the reactors from the rest of the herd. Isolation of reactors is crucial to avoid spreading disease through more of your herd. After the test, you have to discard milk from dairy cow reactors. You also need to keep a record of this. This is to avoid contaminated milk entering the human food chain. To stop disease from spreading, all movements into and out of your herd are no longer possible, except if you are sending animals directly to slaughter. This restriction on movement stops disease from spreading to other farms. If you have two or more reactors, your department veterinary inspector, or VI, will visit you. He or she will inspect the reactors, blood test them, and initiate a disease investigation into how TB has spread into your farm. In addition, they will advise you about practical steps in relation to biosecurity and reducing risk on your farm. If you have five or more reactors, it is likely that additional animals from your herd will have to be tested using a blood test, the gamma interferon test. Your VI will advise. To help you understand why this is necessary, you should see our other video telling you how the TB tests work. Whilst this process is going on, the department will be working to remove the reactor animals from your farm as soon as possible after valuation is agreed. A TAO will ensure you get a permit to remove the reactors and a department appointed haulier will be in touch. In relation to this, please remember to fill out the food chain information declaration to accompany the reactors to the slaughterhouse. After the reactors are gone, you will want to reduce your risk of any residual TB in your farm by doing a really thorough cleaning and disinfection. Remember the following three key points. Get one of the TB approved disinfectants, clean properly and disinfect properly. Watch our TB clean it out video to get practical pointers on how to do this well. Cleaning and disinfection is crucial to killing the bugs that you can't see on your farm and the department will be checking to make sure it is done well. After all the reactors from both the skin test and the additional blood testing are removed from your farm, you will need to have two successive clear tests before your herd is cleared to trade again. These will be at 60 day intervals. Once those tests are clear, you will be de-restricted. For some higher risk breakdowns, there are a couple of extra risk reducing measures that are taken. There will be a testing program in your neighborhood. This is called a contiguous testing program. And secondly, after de-restriction, you will be required to undergo a twice per year testing program for a period of time. If you have any other queries, please look up our website or contact your nearest regional veterinary office for advice. The department will work with you to help to reduce the risk of TB on your farm and to make the herds on Ireland's family farms healthier.